This is an introduction to the idea of place value. Place value is something that you'll learn about every year in your math classes. You revisit it every year because it's so important and new ideas build on the idea of place value. So it's important to have a good understanding in the beginning. One of the things that's true about just everything is sometimes the order of stuff matters and sometimes it doesn't. And this is related to place value so it's important to understand whenever you see something like words or numbers or coins in math you separate them into categories of things where the order matters versus the order doesn't matter like for example we have three words or the letters H A and T and if we rearrange them and put them in different orders that matters because only the first one there spells hat. The others aren't even words. So with letters, the order matters. But if you had two dimes and a penny, and you rearranged them from a penny, dime, dime, to be put the penny in the middle, the order doesn't matter. It's 21 cents no matter what. So that idea of when does the order matter is one of the ideas of place value. Now, when you've got something where the order matters, you have to know how does the order matter? Like with the word, how do you sound it out? Where do you start? You don't start in the middle. You start at the left. You always start at the left when you sound out a word and you work your way to the right. So both in words and numbers, the order matters. And we read from left to right. So. The words on top there, it's all the same letters, but the first one spells live. Oh, there's Aunt Joni texting. The next one is evil, and the last one is veil, if I spelled it right, which I hope I did, but I'm not a very good speller. The numbers on the bottom, it's the same numbers, but they're in different orders, so they're different, just like the words are different. 256, 562, 652. So one of the most important ideas here is sometimes order matters with things and sometimes order doesn't matter. And in our number system, because of place value, order matters. It's one of those things where order matters. Think about it. See if you can think of something. Pause this video for a minute and think of something that is not changed if you change the order. And then also try to think of an example of something that is changed if you change the order. And I'll think of something too. So after you unpause the video, I'll, I'll tell you what I thought of. Here's what I thought of for some examples. Like when changing the order doesn't matter. Uh, say you have like three dolls and you put them in a line. They're those three dolls, and if you change them and put a different one in a different place, it doesn't change anything because it doesn't matter what order they're in for what it's what they're worth or what they are. But let's say something where the order does matter. Uh, let's say you have to line up to get ice cream, and you have to be in line. Well, it matters if you're first or if you're last. <laughs> the order matters when you're lined up to get something. Now that brings us to place value. You probably wondered, what's all this got to do with place value? Well, here's what it has to do with place value. The order matters in a number because each place has a value. That's why we call it place value. So the ones place is furthest to the right in a number, and then the tens place, and then the hundreds, and then the thousands, and it could go on and on and on. So every place in a number has a value. Now, numbers are different from words because with numbers, we have to have a placeholder for when there kind of isn't a number for, for that value. So we use zero as a placeholder, and you know, they didn't always have zero. They had numbers without having zero, so they were really limited to what they could do. And then somebody invented zero, and it was like a genius idea. See, once we had zero, you could write numbers like 102 and it would not be the same as 12. Before they had zero, they couldn't write those two different numbers. They would be the same. Imagine how confusing that would be. Like how much does this cost? Oh, 12, but I meant $102. <laughs> 
but here the zero holds the tens place. We have one in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, and two in the ones. So that's 102. And here, that's 12, which is 10 and two ones. So zero is really important. It's a placeholder for when you don't have a number in a certain place. And now I'm just going off on a little aside here, but if your older siblings, that means sisters, I know Eden, you don't have an older sister, but Addie, you do. If your older sister or brother needs a science article to read for their homework, you might suggest, oh, why don't you look for an article about the origin of zero? See, that's what this is in Scientific American. This is a science magazine, and they have a story about when zero was invented and how did we indicate nothingness before we had zero. It's really interesting. So one of the older kids might want to read this and do a report on it. So back to first grade place value. And like I said, you're going to learn place value all, like every year. They teach it again because it's so important and so many people don't really understand it. That's why I made this special lesson for you. It's not hard. It's just people take it for granted without really understanding what it is. So, so our numbers are kind of like the letters that we write words with. The place value is tells you the value and the numbers. We have these 10 numbers. Zero, that special, very important placeholder number, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are our numbers. We call them digits. Digit is another word for number, but digit is also another word for finger. And uh, we use 10 because we have 10 fingers.